Welcome everyone to the fourth episode of the AC Horsons Road to Glory on FIFA 23. In the last episode, we finished bottom, 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 bottom of the league in all aspects. But we were, well, we made the cup final. We did unfortunately lose. But that's just kind of been the issue for how the series has kind of gone. I don't know what we need to do to improve. But I do feel like with this squad, we might probably finally change the fact that we won't be the bottom two in the league i mean just looking at the team we've got a lot of wingers so i'm going to be playing a 3-4-3 midfield we have two we have good defensive midfielder good attacking midfielder i think i might try and get them to both be center mids and play next to each other but at least for now i'm going to be going with the 3-4-3 diamond and defensively we got some young promising players i feel pretty decent about this team we got a couple of loan moves for ida outside back don't need him and Noah Dahl don't need a starting goalkeeper. We have a different one we're going with. Moses Apondo has been sold to Toronto FC for 1.35k. I don't see him being with the club any longer. His contract is expiring soon. Better get rid of him now rather than later. We've got two players, actually three players leaving on loan. Two going to Italy, one going to England. Fr Frederick Hansen's been sold for $2.5 million. Liam Anderson's gone on a one-year loan move to Ibiza. And now our scout to Denmark. We're going to get some wingers since I think we're going to stick with this 3-4-3 for a while. Norway going to get some strong players. And Sweden just get any sort of players. Timur Morozov has been sold to a Polish team for $2.7 million. Konrad Schmidt will be going on a half-year loan to Troyes over in France. Philip Hansen has been sold to Paris FC in France for just over $1.5 mil. And we've got four players going out on two-year loan moves. Expect to see them being probably regular starters once their loan moves are up. Simon Peterson is joining the team from the Youth Academy. Very good dribbler, so he'll get a spot on the team. Jacob Cruz is just a good all-around outside midfielder. Anton Jansen is probably the future of this club. I mean, 92-94 potential. I'm going to get him up, play him some, loan him out. Somehow going to get him involved in the club's plans. Fredrickson's quick and a dribbler, but that's about it. Hansen is just a good all-round center mid. Same goes for Becker. So in the league, we are not in last. We are in second to last. Boy. So we've got four more players going out on two-year loans. Simon Peterson on a half-year loan. And we've got four players being sold. Didn't really see any of them contributing to the club so transfer listed them and was able to get deals done and i am now officially on the hot seat for the club mike jansen's going on a one-year loan move martin Fredrickson is been sold to ingolstadt and cd jada i'm sending on a two-year loan move to napoli fc jansen that youth academy striker i just promoted want to get him playing a lot more so loan out jada he'll come back as an absolute beast but now it is time for a league fixture against agf and Jota, I forgot his loan move doesn't start till the end of this year, so he's still currently with us. We're going with our 4-4-1-1. I gave up on the 3-4-3, just wasn't working. Here are the highlights. This attack looks highly promising. Will it be? Real chance. The threat is there. He must finish! And a goal! Kruse. Kigesen. Delightful pass. Chance to put them in front. And a goal! And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. This could level it. And a goal! So we drew the game 2-2 two two, thanks to goals from Collins and Holm. Second to last in the league this time. Improvement over last year, but still not great, especially since in the quarterfinals of the Cup, we were knocked out by Viborg FF. Holm, leading goal scorer of the club with 10, Thyssen had 9, 
Collins leading his sister at the club with six. Dykov is the only player that is leaving the club with an expiring contract. And Conrad Schmidt, most valuable player, 32 million. He'll be back on loan to start next season. Glad to have him back. So will, but Jada will be leaving them. Still more draws than losses, but we do have more combined wins and draws than losses. So it depends on how you look at it, whether or not we improved. But yeah, this team, Jansen's kind of going to have to come to his own next year. Got a couple of players coming back on loan, so I think we'll be... I think in the long run, we'll end up being pretty fine. But I think the next episode... I mean, you saw the boards having meetings about us. I think it's really going to have to be dominance, or we're getting fired. Um, I haven't really been fired much ever, but I also haven't had a team not have this success. Like, I've normally been pretty successful, and for whatever reason... We just are not right now, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I hope that you guys will at least watch and enjoy, and I hope to see you all then.